What's going on, everybody? This is VJ Hunt from the Hunt Family Farm. And as you can see, you can hear the birds chirping. The sun is out. It's a beautiful day here on the farm. It's springtime in North Carolina, and my allergies are crazy. So if I sound congested, it's because of that. Um, comment down below your favorite season. I know spring is spring is not my favorite for, because from a standpoint of health, because I'm always sneezing and congested. But when it comes to farming, it is a very exciting season for us. Um, we are probably about to kick off our busiest season. Today, as you can see, I'm in a different location over um, on the side of the farm where we have, where we house our cows uh, and our chicken operation and also our processing plant, as you saw in the tour. Um, spring brings new beginnings. Some good things are happening. Obviously, we just finished lambing season. Um, with the lambs and we'll go over and, and feed and you guys get a chance to check on them. But today, got something special. We have had our first, first, the first ever to walk the earth on this particular farmland, um, Wagyu calves. Uh, it started, we bought a Wagyu bull back last year, some time ago, and we bred him with all of our Angus cows and. The results have hit the ground and they're up and they're healthy. So you'll get an opportunity today to get a chance to see uh, a Angus Wagyu cross. I call it Wangus. That's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it a Wangus calf. I couldn't think of the name. Uh, but give me a um, comment down below if you've ever had Wagyu steaks or Wagyu beef at all. I haven't had the um, privilege of getting it. If you know about Wagyu beef, it's extremely expensive. Um, it's known for its genetic, the marbling in the steaks, and it. it's very, very tender. So comment down below if you've ever had Wagyu beef. On a scale of one to 10, what do you rate it? I have told myself I'm not going to eat Wagyu beef until I taste it off of the farm. So I'm reframing from emptying my wallet and getting a steak because I want to try it from off of our farm first. Uh, so stay tuned. We got a lot of cool things to see. Um, our chicks came in, so we'll get a chance to take a look at our chickens, as, our chicks, as we get them ready to go um, to put them in the, put them into the pasture. I don't know what's wrong with my English today. I'm struggling. All right, so we're about to enter into what is called our chick house. So I guess I'm giving you a new tour, right? It's kind of cool, right? This is our chick house. So we grow uh, a pasture-raised birds. Um, it gives them an opportunity to have a more natural diet. So our chickens are grown in the pasture out there. I don't know if you can see this pasture right like here, right? And that right there is our chicken house, boom, right there. Uh, I'll, let's see if I can walk over and find you guys, to find one that we have. Um, so here is one of our chicken houses right here. Uh, what it does is it allows for the chickens to live on the ground. Um, they're able to scratch for bugs and eat grass and the things that they normally eat. Um, we're not pumping them full of just feed. Uh, so our chickens naturally taste better, they grow better, they're healthier, they're healthier for you. Uh, no antibiotics, we don't use any GMOs in our feed. So it does take a while, a little bit longer for them to grow, but they are much healthier birds. But when we order our chickens, they come in as chicks and we can't put them out there because it's Number one, it's too cold, but number two, they don't have the feathers. So we house them in this location right here. So this is our chick house. As you can see, these chicks are getting their feathers. Um, I might not let me grab them. They're getting their feathers, they're growing. He's jumped up. Uh, here are some of our smaller ones but they, they tend to stay by the light. We have a fan system in here that if it gets too warm, it, it'll naturally pull out the, the warmer airs. But these chickens are almost ready to go into their chicken house. Um, here's some of our starter feed that we feed them. So I'll drop a little bit in there and watch the frenzy. And the feeding frenzy will begin, right?
Put a little in there. Those have it already. But this is where we kind of start our chickens off and then we transport them outside once they get their feathers. So it's always a cool thing um, to be able to just have your chickens. We usually do about a hundred at a time um, and we grow them up into their full maturity and then we process them in that facility there. Um, comment down below if you want to see a tour of that facility. Um, I'll definitely put a video for that. Here are our egg layers. They are here. Um, they have celery to eat today. Uh, they're full um, and they can go into, you see that little hole? Come on guys. You see the little hole that he just came out? They go into this building. It's outfitted like a chicken mansion, right? It's huge, nice space for them. Um, and then we have some other layers on this side. Um, and they're, they're just back here chilling, doing what chickens do. Um, we had to grow the grass. We had to grow the grass back because chickens eat a lot of grass. Uh, so we have planted grass, as you can see, it's nice luscious green grass right here. Um, so we're gonna definitely expand their fence and they'll be able to free range and get all the nutrients and more of a natural diet. Um, so now that we have seen the chickens and visited the chickens and all of that, um, we're gonna go over check the sheep, feed them, make sure everybody's healthy. All right, so now we are out here with the animals, with the sheep. As you know, the sheep, the sheep, and Millie and Jessica over there. Um, so, just to kind of give you guys an update on the sheep and everything that's going on, um, we had a casualty. Uh, one of our mothers, one of our dearly mothers, where she wasn't a mother, um, she wasn't a mother to these new ones. She, uh, she ended up passing yesterday. Um, sad story, not really sad, it was sad, it is sad uh, whenever you lose an animal. Um, but it's kind of part of, you know, farming. Um, she had a, she was pregnant. She had a stillborn and um, I saw how weak she was. So I tried to give her some meds, give her some B12 to get her energy levels going. Um, but she, she was really stressed, uh, was really weak, really lethargic, uh, gave her some meds. She was still eating, still looking like she would be okay. And then obviously she was, well, later to find out she was pregnant with twins and I don't think she, I think she died giving birth uh, to her other baby. So um, I know it's a sad story. Hey, I know it's a sad story, but um, you know, that's, that's kind of part of it. You know, on the Hunt Family Farm, we try to give you guys uh, the real in farming. Um, and sometimes you have some, some things that don't go your way. And you know, those are all part of the joys of farming. Uh, you gotta take the good with the bad, but However, everybody else appears to be healthy. Um, the grass is growing down there. So things are looking good. Um, I have I had a um, I had a blessing come my way. I, I think in the previous video, I told you we, we partner with a local uh, food processor of vegetables and we get their byproducts. Um, but then also I had, it's a local farmer, really cool setup. Man, he has a farm in his backyard. I got a call uh from a friend of mine that was his cousin and said hey walmart just dropped off a truckload of produce that they can't sell and they want people to come pick it up and so one person's trash is another person's treasure uh it was much more than this i just loaded this on the back of the truck today um, but these are all organic greens for whatever reason walmart couldn't sell them um and so we are going to benefit from Walmart not being able to sell them. Um, these right here are sweet potatoes uh, from the processing plant. Um, they just chop sweet potatoes. Really good for sheep, high in all vitamins and minerals, a superfood. It fills them up really, really quickly. They love them. So I'm going to work on feeding, um, work on feeding them, putting them in, putting them in and uh, I'll get back to you with our with the the next step in what we're gonna do. All right, so now we're gonna try to feed. Um, we're gonna go to feed our potatoes. Let me show you what we got. <laughs> got a bucket full of sweet potatoes. Watch, they they absolutely <laughs> like.
be the rest to Jasper and Millie. One thing that we haven't been doing much of of late, which I think is a good thing, we haven't been giving as much grain. Uh, and I mean, just just because I want to feed them more of a natural diet, more of a grain free. Um, and there's nothing wrong with grain. Uh, it's kind of the stigma of people, this grain free, grain free. Uh, I don't personally think it's something wrong with grain. I think you just have to have a more of a balanced diet. And what we're doing or what these companies or these partnerships that we have have afforded us to do is provide that balanced diet um, or a more natural diet because we don't um, we don't have to feed them grain in those winter months when the grass is not growing. Uh, so that's definitely a blessing. Shout out to all of the, the partnerships and the people that we've worked with that have, have, have given um, and continue to give now we're gonna throw them some some greenery. I have some celery here. Um, they absolutely love celery. I didn't know that, but these are same celery you'll get at Walmart. Pretty cool. Perfectly fine, perfectly good celery, but for some reason it didn't make the cut there. Um, and it definitely is gonna make the cut here at the Hunt Family Farm. All right, so now we're out here with the cows. I'm about to feed them and then you'll get a chance to get your first look at our Wagyu calves. Uh, they were, they are 50% Wagyu. We'll kind of get into the percentages and all of that stuff, but they're running up here. Stampede, they see me uh, with the feed and they definitely come running. She's drew. She's ready to get to it. So, I want to kind of show you our the, the Wagyu calves. Um, these are not the mothers are not. Um, that's an, a Wagyu, 50% Wagyu male. This calf walking up is all of these calves that are born now were bred to 100% Wagyu male. Those two calves down there. So, um, oh, the sun is bright. So, um, just a, I'm not gonna say it. I don't know if it's a fact for sure. Cause I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not well versed in like wag with well, grades of beef and wagyu, wagyu, I guess term. But from what I've been told and from what I've read, right, the internet says it, so it has to be true. <laughs> um, but from what I've read, um, <clears throat> a lot of people, I guess, there are a lot of claims that 100% wagyu beef isn't very palatable for the American, I guess, tongue, or not as desirable for the American palate because it can be a bit mushy. I don't know if that's a fact. That's just me reading and hearing from what's going on when it comes to the beef. Uh, so a 50% cross is probably the most palatable and the, the, the best in terms of what American people would like to have so um i don't know yet you know i don't know like i said in, in the comments comment if you ever had wagyu beef I haven't had it i want to try it but like i said i'm gonna refrain from it until ours is ready oh watch that, man. Those are our four. Those are our four right there. We got three males and one female. 
all seem to be extremely healthy. <laughs> so we'll see how how they how everything works out. Um, definitely exciting. The one thing about farming um, is patience. You know, I know in some of the comments people talked about just um, you know what they should get into when it comes to farming. And, you know, I'm not an expert by any means. I think you know you got to get into what's what you're comfortable with. Uh, our family, we're fortunate enough, blessed enough to have a decent amount of land. Um, and you know, my father and my great uncle, he they were they've been farmers, and now I'm kind of getting into it. My sister's getting into it, and so you know, we have some things that we're comfortable with. But did I'm telling you now today that it wasn't it wasn't all ways like this uh you have to learn and so you know that's kind of what i'm doing but i'm learning but i also have you know somewhat of a expert when it comes to my father in these agriculture oh in these agriculture ventures so that is our wagyu beef um we fed the sheep fed the donkeys um gave the baby chicks some feed so as you can see, our videos are gonna get busier. Um, stay tuned and it'll be great. We want you to have you along for all of this, man. Be excited, it's exciting, exciting time here on the Hunt Family Farm. And just like that, that concludes our video for today. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if this is your first time watching, thank you for taking the time out to get, uh, to watch this video and, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, go ahead and subscribe to us. Go check out some of our other videos. Uh, we have so many things coming for you for this spring and summer. Um, our This is our busy season, so uh, be on the lookout. The way that you're on the lookout is through that post notification bell. It'll let you know every time we upload. So, you know, we have chickens going, we have sheep going, potentially goats, potentially more sheep. Um, we have more calves being born. We have a lot of things that are going on and I'm telling you, you do not want to miss it. So subscribe to us, turn on that post notification, keep the comments coming. I love it. I love the engagement. I love talking to you guys. Uh, let us know some things that you want to see. Um, you know, you, if you've been with us <clears throat> for a while, you know what we have to offer. Um, and, and if you haven't, if you're just now starting, go back and start from the beginning and just watch the story all the way through. Um, and you get caught up and you tell me what you want to see. Tell us what, what you like or or what you want to see more of. Um, my sister will be coming to you with more honeybee videos. Um, if you don't know, I, I've said it in multiple videos, but I am starting to conquer my fear of honeybees. I wear a suit now and I, I'm the guy behind the camera, um, but I'm further away than I probably should be. Uh, but, you know, I'm getting better at it. And so we'll have you along for that journey. Um, until next time, peace. I will see you guys later.